Do you know that when horses go to sleep, they don't have to lie down? It's true. Horses can sleep standing up. And the way they can do that is really neat. The reason why they sleep standing up is they're so heavy, they weigh anywhere from half a ton to a full ton. When they lay down, all their intestine rests against their lung, and they can't breathe very easily. But sometimes they do lie down. Yeah, they can lay down for a shorter period of time, an hour or so, maybe two. But they can't do it for 8 or 10 or 12 hours. Also, they have very thin skin, and their skin is very fragile. And since they sleep on straw and cement, not on a water bed or a comfortable <laughs> bed like you and I do, uh, they tend to get sore uh, either in the legs or on the belly, wherever they're laying down. Well, how do they sleep standing up? Like, how does it work? They have a knee just like you and I do, which is right here. This is the kneecap right here. And uh, that's the knee joint. And except, unlike you and I, they have three ligament that comes down and uh, allows the leg to be locked into place. Once they're hooked into place, then the knee cannot bend anymore. It's, it's solid and it's straight. When they're finished sleeping, they unlock their muscle? That's right. If, if they would lock on itself, then the horse could not run around or move very freely. So he's got a muscle that uh, pulling on the kneecap allows it to lock when he wants to sleep and allows it to unlock when he wants to run around or if he wants to get up and uh, go and eat. Let's go to the lab and I could show you exactly what I mean. This is a specimen of the horse's knee joint. This is the knee joint right here. And there's the kneecap and it's in his position when the horse would be sleeping. It would be locked up there. And I could show you on this specimen how this worked. This is a real horse leg in which the muscle were taken out and were left with tendon and bone. And here's the kneecap, and there's a muscle that goes from here to the kneecap. And all that muscle has to do is pull the kneecap back, and you'll see it lock in place. And you can hear it lock in place as well. That's why you can sleep standing up without much work. So the next time you catch a horse asleep, don't worry that it's not comfortable. It's as comfortable as you would be in your own bed. Just the same, I'm glad I'm not a horse, because I would prefer my bed over a barn any day of the week. I'm Donna Lee, reporting for Wonderstruck. All soups are not alike. And I'm not talking about taste. I mean what they're like before they even come out of the can. Here's something you can try at home. Take a can of onion soup. And take a can of cheddar cheese soup. Don't open them. They're right off the shelf. And have a race to see which one will win. All you need is a bit of a board that has a tilt to it. I've just got a board here. I put a spoon under one end, so that's our racetrack. Take the two cans and put them on the start line and just let them go and see which one wins the race. Which one wins? Cheddar cheese. And the funny thing is, is that it wins every time. Why? Well, there's a difference in the way these soups are. You, you can hear this one's very liquid, very runny, and the cheddar cheese is much more solid, and that affects the way they behave when they roll. And we can get a clue if we look inside them. Here are two that are already open, so we can see what they look like on the inside. Now, if we look at the onion soup, you can see that it's, it's very runny, very watery, whereas the cheddar cheese soup is almost solid. In fact, it doesn't even come out of the can when you turn it upside down. Liquids behave differently than solids when they move. If you notice, when I rotate the onion soup, the soup doesn't really want to turn, and that's because it's very runny. Whereas the cheese soup, being solid, it turns all at once. Well, that causes resistance, and it's resistance within the fluid itself. The center part doesn't want to turn, the outside towards the can does, and there's a little bit of a fight that goes on there between the outside and the inside, and it's that resistance that causes the can to slow down, whereas the solid, it turns all at once, there's no resistance. That's why the cheddar cheese always wins. This is an important thing in science, you have to be aware of fluids when you're moving them around because sometimes they will resist motion, and sometimes if that resistance builds up too much, you can burst your pipes. Here's another demonstration of the same thing. Again, you can try it at home. The difference between a boiled egg and a, a reg regular raw egg. The boiled egg is solid. The raw egg is liquid on the inside. How do you tell the difference? Try to spin them and see which one spins. The solid one, like the cheese soup, spins very easily. So that must be the boiled egg. <laughs> Whereas 
the raw egg doesn't turn very well at all. And that's the difference between moving a solid and moving a liquid. You can try this at home. Try spinning eggs and try moving different cans of soup and find out which one's the fastest, which one's the slowest. Try a can of spaghetti, who knows?